Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at the open string notes of the note chart. So this is a little warm-up exercise. So like athletes, musicians have to do warm-up exercise in order to get limbered up. So we are the same. So up until now, uh, in your Vimish book, you'll have been playing number one to four pizzicato. Um, but now, in number five, they require you to play with the bow. So we'll be using the note chart again. So we'll just be playing the first note of every column, of each of the four columns. So whenever you're playing this exercise, uh, do look at the notes um, in order to try and help you to identify the notes whenever you go to read them on the music. And um, of course, look at the names of the strings which are written down on the bridge to help you as well. So 90% of the time, look at the note chart, but the other 10% of the time, you can quickly glance down at the, um, at the uh, strings. And uh, I've written down, um, I think it's very helpful to write down the names of the strings um, on the bridge so that you can identify them quickly. So um, what we would like to end up with is for you to play these, these notes all legato. With a nice big sound and with lots and lots of bow. But in order to get there, um, what we're going to do is we're going to play them um, we're going to play them uh, short notes. So do a little down bow, then stop your bow, then up, then stop, then down, and then up. So do that for a while, and then whenever you're feeling confident, try and join the notes together. And one thing to notice is, um, one thing to try and aim for is to try and join the notes consecutively. So um, you um, start with the down bow, and then you stop the bow, and then you start the second note from where the first one finished. So we're going to do an up bow. And then you, that makes you end up where you started from, and then you do the same thing. Like that. Like that. So that little gap in between the notes is really, really helpful. It just helps us to poise ourselves before the next up bow and to think about the direction of the bow on the next note. But eventually we want, to, we want to play like this. We want to join the notes together, so. So round about that speed would be lovely. And I would recommend you do that um, as many times as you want every day, but it's nice to have a figure in your head. So why don't we do um, 10 of those? So five down bows followed by up bows. So why don't you play along with me now? Okay, so let's have some fun. So all the way, so all the way from the um, heel to the tip. This is the heel, this is the tip, and this is the middle. All right, so here we go. So this is the speed, okay? So number one. Well done. And then what you can do is you can go into the next string. So all you do is just you lower your arm, you lower your wing, and we're now going to do the same thing on the D string. So again, you can start off by playing with little gaps like that. If that's helpful. With the little gaps. Um, but eventually we want to um, play legato, where we join all of the notes nice and smoothly. Um, one little thing to think about is try and let your bow, try and um, encourage your bow to be parallel to the bridge. So we don't want to have a wonky bow like this. And whenever you get to the middle of the bow, open your arm out and away from you, like the hinge of a door. Like that. So we don't want your bow going like this. Like that. So that's wonky. And that will affect the tone. And also press on your first finger. So if I go all the way out, what do you say? I'm going to lift the tip. See the way it springs back? And that's because I'm using some a lever action with my first finger, which I'm getting this sound. If I do it too, too, too much, you get that horrible sound. We want a little bit of that. And if you notice that you're hitting the strings on the other side, try and just watch the, watch the, the bow 
um, and try to uh, make a tiny adjustment. Um, play the Operation Bow exercise, that's one of my other videos. Alright, so let's try the D string together. So this is the play along, so we're going to do it five times. Same speed as before, but this time in the D string. Here we go, and... Okay, let's go on to the A string, same thing, drop your elbow, here we go. And let's go from the A string straight into the E string this time, okay, without a break. So here we go, A string. So first of all, start off with the little gaps, like that. Put the little gaps in. Okay, let's try and do it the play along uh, legato now, so here we go, and... on the last note and just listen to how the note rings. As a little aside you can also think about the sort of bow stroke you do. So the detaché bow stroke is ideal so what you do is you start slow, you go faster, gradually faster and then you slow down like this. It's like breathing out. Try breathing out with the bow stroke. So I'll sort of sound with the bow. Uh, bit of that bulging sound, a little bit of it, uh, and that will really encourage the string to ring like mad. So that's all, so have fun with that, do that every day, um, keep a wee eye on the note chart uh, as you're doing it as well, but um, you could just, uh, once you think you know the notes, you could just look at your bow, especially if you're concerned about hitting the strings on the other side. As I say, a great exercise as well is the operation bow exercise. So. Have fun with that, and I guarantee that the rest of your practice will go really, really well. Fiddly bye-bye.